Making news across America, a raging apartment fire at Trump Tower in New York has left one person dead. Reporter Lisa Rosner from our sister station in New York has the latest. Flames shooting out from a 50th floor window at Trump Tower, debris falling down below. Chaos ensued at the high rise on Fifth Avenue between 56th and 57th Streets. We were smelling the smoke and it was really scary and we had to leave the store. I saw like a load of debris smashing windows and then that's when they were like, you gotta get out. And then all of a sudden as we were going up the escalator, there was this massive noise. The FDNY says a large apartment was on fire. Firefighters removed a 67-year-old man who was rushed to St. Luke's Hospital and died a short time later. The units have to get there. They have to hook up to a standpipe system with their hose. It takes a little longer. The fire, of course, uh, the building is uh, it contains the heat, it contains the smoke. It was extremely uh, uh, hot in the apartment. 200 firefighters and EMS workers responded. Some residents evacuated the building. There was noise and there was a funny smell. And then Michael Cohn, who was Trump's lawyer, texted me and he said, are you in the building? And I said, I texted him back, yes. He said, you should get out, there's a fire. So I had to walk down. These the first family was not home. President Trump tweeted, fire at Trump Tower is out. Very confined, well-built building. Firemen and women did a great job. Thank you.